ScatteroundCoach.com. Four fast clips of great surgical pearls. This is a fun video. Four very brief videos, about a minute each. We're going to learn a lot together. So let's look at this first one. This is a nice way of tucking the haptics into the needle for your Yamani procedure. And pulling that one out, notice how the IOL is in the anterior chamber. It's not dangling in the mid vitreous. So that is great. A little bit of a flange crater there. And now how will you do the other one? Check this out. Passing the needle here, now externalizing the needle. You can externalize this needle out your main incision, and that's going to make it a lot easier to place this. And look, the optic stays just right there in the anterior chamber. Nothing goes back to the mid -vitters. Now, make sure you use an IOL with flexible enough haptics so you can accomplish this. And now pulling this through, and look at that. Yamane done very nicely without having the optic dangling there in the mid -vitters cavity. Better for the patient. Wow, beautiful technique. Let's go to our next pearl. Next pearl is this one. Watch carefully. Eye wells being injected, and what happens? It's stuck in the injector. So how do you get the lens out without damaging the IOL haptics? How? Well, our guest surgeon here has a brilliant idea. So it's stuck here. What should you do? Well, this is a disposable injector. You can just try to pull the haptic out, but ooh, it's kind of stuck, and if you pull too much, you're going to break it. So what would you do here? Think about it. What would you do right here? It's stuck. What can you do? You can't just yank the injector out. So here's what the surgeon's going to do. Smart move. Look at this. Going to actually cut in the injector tip. So here, again, it's stuck in the injector. We'll just sacrifice the injector tip. Cut across it here with scissors. And that will allow you to release that haptic without damaging it. So cut that. Pow. The injector tip is cut. And now you can expand and have more room, and the haptic can be pulled out of it pretty easily. So there's the cut. And maybe sometimes tough to cut these. I'd use your drape scissors. Don't use any, any good scissors. And you can cut it across it. And then at the end of the case, everything looks great. So very innovative idea from our surgeon. Now, next video. Here we go. Roberto Pineda from Boston, my friend here, had a fantastic idea for these floppy iris syndrome cases. Look at that iris prolapsing already. Well, how are you going to get hydrodissection done without prolapsing the iris here? Think about it. Well, and this has a lot of floppiness. So once the rex is done, and that's relatively straightforward, how do you do a hydrodissection without causing more iris prolapse? Well, you need to have a good outflow for when you inject more BSS for a hydrodissection, you need to have fluid coming out of the eye. So here's what he does. Brilliant. Puts the 27-gauge cannula inside a silicone sleeve. So now when you do hydrodissection, you've got a pathway for BSS to exit the eye without damaging the iris. So here, hydrodissection being done, and you fully prevented iris prolapse from the incision because you have the 27-inch the cannula in a silicone sleeve, the one from your phaco tip or from your eye probe. That's just a brilliant idea. I have got to try this one day in my clinic. Beautiful technique here. And now the rest of the case, you can proceed pretty normally. Now let's go on to our last one. Here's our last one. And so we had our podcast, Dr. Herman Bianchi from Argentina. He's going to show you how he injects this IPCL with just hydro implantation. So again, this is a device that's not available in the USA, not yet at least, but it's very popular worldwide. It's called the IPCL. So injecting it here nice and easy. Look at it opening it up. And the only thing, there's no viscoelastic in the eye. It's just BSS. So placing it on top of the iris and very carefully here with the hydro cannula, tucking over the haptics into the sulcus, and then you're done with the case. Look at that. So easy to do. Tuck in the last two haptics, nice and easy. Slip, slip them right in there, and this is just an infusion cannula, like from your 23-gauge bimanual IA set. This is the infusion cannula. And once that's tucked in, just seal up the incisions, call it done. Again, this is the IPCL, not to be confused with the Vizian ICL, and this is a fantastic technique here. What a beautiful result with no viscoelastic needed. Hey, remember, check out that podcast, cataractcoach.com podcast, top podcast in all of ophthalmology.